Hello and welcome to this edition of Current Affairs Commentary by Dialogue China, I'm Chris Wong. Today we will share with you a thought-provoking article by Wang Dan, founder and director of Dialogue China, addressing a critical concern about the potential dangers associated with popular Chinese social media platforms, TikTok and Xiaohong Shu. While these platforms present an ostensibly innocent and positive image of Chinese society, Wang contends that they serve as typical examples of brainwashing. Despite the seemingly harmless content, including fun and bits of ordinary people's lives, spiritual chicken soup, and aesthetic pleasures, a closer examination reveals that TikTok and Xiaohongshu predominantly showcase a China filled with youthfulness, joy, humor, beauty, and health. Wang questions whether this curated portrayal is problematic. Wang explores the selective nature of the content on these platforms, highlighting the careful curation that showcases a vibrant and joyful China, while omitting crucial aspects like societal conflicts, nationalist sentiments, and political issues. The concern is that such selective exposure may lead to a distorted perception, particularly among Taiwan's youth, diminishing their awareness of the complex realities within China. In reality, there are many negative aspects in China, such as exclusion or nationalist sentiments, conflicts between people caused by societal hostility, poverty and meaninglessness in life, despair among young people leading to lying flat, and aggressive rhetoric regarding Taiwan, all of which are excluded from TikTok and Xiaohongshu due to censorship by the Chinese Communist Party. Through TikTok and Xiaohongshu, Wang suggests that young people in Taiwan may develop a distorted perception thinking that Chinese society is problem-free and positive. Wang warns that this could lead to unwitting brainwashing as users become increasingly fond of China, without being aware of the darker political system and serious social issues. Wang emphasizes that the platforms don't rely on falsehood, but rather on selected and filtered information, shaping users' perspectives based on what the CCP wants them to see. Over time, users' fondness for China increases, and their awareness of China's evil political system and many serious social issues gradually dilutes. Users may start thinking, isn't it the same world I live in? It's okay to get closer to a country like this. A more serious problem arises, in the face of an authoritarian regime contemplating annexation every day, users' vigilance erodes. Users may even feel repulsed by any advocacy for resisting communism and supporting Taiwan, despite its correctness from both historical and practical political perspectives. Wang concludes that once attitudes toward China start changing, users may be unknowingly influenced. This subtle distortion of values, under the influence of TikTok and Xiaohongshu, is why Wang emphasizes the need to be vigilant about these platforms. He reiterates his saying at the end, Freedom comes with a bang, but the loss of freedom is imperceptible, urging readers to carefully consider its validity. Thank you for joining us on Dialogue China Current Affairs Commentary. If you have any thoughts, questions, or stories to share, please don't hesitate reach out to us. On behalf of Dialogue China team, thanks for watching. See you next week.